Dr. Jaffe, a customer writes in and says, a few of my patients and I get lower back pain after two to three days of vitamin C. I also get cloudy urine when taking vitamin C. What could the problem be? Very important question, and very likely the solution is marginal but significant dehydration. Um, as reflected in um, the lack of enough water to keep the metabolic debris in solution. Usually when you see a cloudy urine, a muddy brown urine, uh, an opaque urine, uh, what it means is that the kidney is filtering a lot of debris in the glomerulus and the loop of Henle, they're very specialized parts of the kidney. The kidney is experiencing distress and when you take more ascorbate, especially healthy ascorbate, fully reduced, fully buffered, all L ascorbate, based on a C cleanse, now the ascorbate can help clean, make more soluble, help get rid of this debris that is building up in the kidneys. So that's a reason why you might see um, in a partially dehydrated or marginally dehydrated person, a cloudy urine. That would be a sign of the body's cleansing itself, so that in itself is not a bad sign, but it's an alert to check hydration status. We have a self-assessment by which you can check the way in which the skin on the back of your hand uh, relaxes, uh, and it should go flat in one, one, in one second, one one thousand second. Um, and if it relaxes slowly, that's a sign of dehydration. And so the first thing to do, if you have back or flank pain, the first thing to do if you see cloudy urine is to increase your water intake, and I suggest mineral-rich spring water or equivalent. And what I suggest is put a carafe on your desk with a glass, and if the glass is full, drink it. And if the glass is empty, fill it. So that means that you'll be urinating every couple of hours while you're awake, you may want to reduce water intake after, say, 8 o'clock at night or so, to, so you don't go to the bathroom too many times while you're sleeping. And by the way, checking morning urine pH allows you to get up and go to the bathroom. You can't go to the gym or the kitchen and get a meaningful measurement. But if you get up, go to the bathroom, and go back to bed, that qualifies for the six hours or more period of equilibration rest that's needed to get a meaningful urine pH. Uh, as an index or measure or assessment of magnesium need, and we enhance the magnesium uh, uptake with choline citrate. And if your urine is between 6.5 and 7.5, congratulations, you need two doses a day of MagPlusGuard and choline citrate just for maintenance today. That's about 220 milligrams twice a day, 440 of supplements is maintenance. Um, and we enhance the uptake of the magnesium with the choline citrate that forms a micellar inverted nano droplet. A tiny little droplet with the charges on the inside and no charges on the outside that's taken up by a novel neutral pore mechanism, not the usual ion channel. The ion channel that takes up calcium and magnesium is easily uh, inhibited. It's energy requiring and so very often the maximum that you can get in through that ion channel is one third of the magnesium you give. And two thirds remains in the intestines, can build up, cause a hypermotility uh, and diarrhea. And generally, people run away from you when that happens. It's part of why we developed and globally patented enhanced magnesium uptake using choline citrate to form these little neutral droplets. Um, and you re reflect that, you confirm that benefit by checking the urine pH in the morning and bringing it back into the 6.5 to 7.5 uh, healthy range. And remember, it's a logarithmic scale. So small changes in pH have a profound impact at the cellular physiology level. So when we measure arterial or venous pH, changes of a tenth or a hundredth of a unit 
are meaningful in terms of the impact on metabolism, on whether the cell is in protective elective synthetic mode or whether it is shutting down and going into survival mode. So very important to pay attention to this, very important to stay well hydrated. And while there are rare exceptions, and I would urge this person to follow through on the hydration, follow through on the recommendations I just made, um, and see if in fact you don't get the benefit of, this, of the ascorbate without the flank or back pain without the cloudy urine, uh, as a reflection that you have further reduced risk while you're also cleaning your kidneys uh, of the schmutz that there is too much of today. Uh, that the kidney is responsible in part for getting rid of. And remember, we eliminate through, through our intestines, we eliminate through our kidneys, we also eliminate through our skin. And we'll talk perhaps at another time about uh, how changes in skin respiration and perspiration uh, can reflect stress levels, can reflect uh, toxic matter circulation, and other similar matters. So be well hydrated, be good to your kidneys, let your kidneys be good to you, and you shouldn't have flank or back pain, you shouldn't have cloudy urine, um, but you should clean your kidneys on a regular basis. And to me, that means taking in at least two quarts or two liters of water baseline, that's about eight glasses of eight ounces a day, plus a glass for every adult beverage, for every caffeinated beverage, uh, for every uh, sugared or artificially sweetened beverage, not that I'm recommending those, but if one should take that, you, your need for water goes up in proportion to those kinds of beverages. Uh, I've noticed when I travel that in many parts of the world, if you uh, get an espresso, they'll automatically give you a little glass of water to go with it. Reflecting the fact that caffeine is itself a mild diuretic, and if you stay well hydrated, you can still get the benefits from uh, moderate intake of coffee and or tea chai, lactate, um, and staying well hydrated while getting the mild boost that you get from a little caffeine or a little theanine or a little theobromine uh, is, is helpful throughout the day. So stay well hydrated, uh, listen to your kidneys, uh, pay attention to what they're saying as we've tried to explain it, and in the very rare situation where that doesn't solve the problem promptly, I mean within days, contact our client services people, contact our health coach uh, team, uh, and we'll work with the individual uh, to see what might be going on in a rare case.